Hello, Rebecca here. Today I want to do a kind of an inky wrap up of 2022. I keep a spreadsheet of all the inks and pens I use over the course of the year. And I've been keeping that spreadsheet since 2017 when I really dove headfirst into this fountain pen hobby. Um, I did start buying fountain pens and using fountain pens in 2016, but 2017 was when I got serious about it. So I pulled my spreadsheet, um, looked at just this year alone, and did some summaries. And this is going to be my review of what I inked in 2022, or what I used for ink in 2022. So brand-wise, my winner was Robert Oster, or Robert Oster. I used Robert Oster 12 times. I used Ferris Wheel Press inks seven times this year. I used Inkabara, which was a new company to me this year, uh, seven times three of which were for an experiment. So I don't know if you can really count this as seven times, more like five, because I inked two pens as an experiment after one pen gave me a weird response. Uh, six times I inked Colorverse. I brought up one of the giant boxes. Colorverse inks. Six times I inked with diamine inks, and five times I inked with J.R. Bond inks. I did use lots of other ink types, uh, Sailor Gentle, Sailor Ink Studio, um, a variety of other inks, but not a, not more than f not five or more times. They were all four times or less. For the brand. Overall, the number of inks I used, fountain pen inks I used this year in 2022, was 70. So more than an ink a week. And this is not including the inks I used for um, 30 inks in 30 days in November. I used 70 inks, not including that 30 inks. So if you include that, if you add that 30 inks where I use them for a day each, I used 100 inks exactly this year. But my ink usage stat statistics are actually really low. I repeated very, very little. I used Colorverse C Europa four times. It is my favorite ink, so it makes sense that I would use it four times in a year. I used Inkabara Coral three times. I put it in a pen. It was weirder in the weird in the pen. It was a darker color than I expected. So I put it in two other pens to compare. Um, so I used it three times, but realistically I needed to use it once. The other two times were for an experiment. And I used Inkabara Earth and brown gray twice each. I used diamine steel blue twice. And I used Robert Oster green olive twice, which means I used, in my pens, I used 64 unique inks, aside from those six that were multiples. 64 unique inks plus the 30 from 30 day, 30 inks 30 days is 94 unique inks that I used this year. I'm kind of impressed by that. I didn't think I used that much ink. If we take 30 inks 30 days out of it, so subtract 30 inks, that's 64 unique inks. That's still more than one ink a week. So I, I did well with ink this year. I also acquired a lot of ink this year. I acquired 34 new bottles of ink. So I got 
7 inks from Yosaka Stationery. There we go. 7 inks from Yosaka. I got uh, 679 from Van Ness. These guys. I got two while on vacation in Victoria. I got another bunch from Van Ness. These four at the bottom corner were samples, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. These thirteen were bottles. They came from Van Ness. And I got three additional inks from directly from Ferris Wheel Press, which I never did swatch. Um, I put them straight into pens instead. So 34 inks acquired this year. <laughs> that is a lot of bottles of ink because I don't count samples in ink acquisition. I got four bottles this year, uh, four samples this year. I don't tend to buy samples. By the time I've done the research, looked at all the images online, looked at YouTube um, reviews, by the time I've done my research, I'm pretty solidly sure I'm going to love a color. Uh, it is rare that I've been wrong. Um, there are maybe three bottles that I have bought over the years that I regret buying. The rest of the inks, I am absolutely thrilled to own. So I did, I did well. I acquired a lot of inks. I'm happy with them. I used a lot of them right away. Uh, many of the 64 unique inks I used this year came from new ink acquisition. For example, so far from this page from Yuseka, I've had Tangmisi Blue in a pen. I've had Seki in a pen. And I have Kitsune Biori in a pen. From this page, I've had Inkabara Coral in a pen, Pannonia Velvet Champagne in a pen, Wearing Ghoul Potato of Spring in a pen, Inkabara Earth in two pens. I have Colorverse Tap Yong Siong Day in a pen, Inkabara Brown Gray in two pens, Clouds of Gray in a pen, and Blushing Mushroom in a pen. So I haven't used all of my new inks, but I've used a lot of my new inks. It was a good year for ink. It was a very wide ranging and varied year for ink for me. I had a lot of fun acquiring these new inks and trying them out. I now have, uh, this is a Tomway River notebook, but I've been experimenting lately with Tomway River, with uh, paper, Tomway River paper with Mitsubishi Bank paper and with Cosmo Air Light paper and I've been I've been loving it. It's been a year of ink and paper. It has also been a year of pens because I have acquired a few pens over the course of this year, uh, quite a few pens. So I will do a separate video on that because I don't want these videos to be too long. They're just meant to be little summary videos. So yeah, a good year for ink. 64 unique inks is a lot. I love my collection of ink and I like adding to it. Uh, the three I didn't show you that I got from Ferris Wheel Press. Here's my, here you are. We're Wonderland in Coral, cat hair, which is a shimmer. It's a coral color with silver shimmer. Ferris Wheel Press Writing Desk, which has green sheen. It's a rich brown with green sheen. And Peter Moss, which is a nice medium green with a little bit of dark kind of velvety black sheen uh, if you put it on really thickly. So those were the three that I didn't swatch but I'll just quickly flip through the rest. Payne's Grey, Genuvius, Bellaton Keck, Serena, 
Pillar's Brunch Date. Love that one. I mean, I like all of them. I bought them because I like them. But the ones that I love. Yamabuto is one of the ones I regret buying. Surprisingly enough. I know most people love, a lot of people love Yamabuto. But it's just too sheeny for me. Uh, I put it in a wet pen. Uh, my Platinum 3776 Nice Pure. And all I could see was sheen. And I don't like that. I want to see more than sheen. I want to see the ink color. Private Reserve Black Cherry is in my Black Cherry pen. Diatromantis Paul Gauguin. Uh, that's the mint turquoise one. It stinks. It absolutely reeks. I, I wrote very smelly, but that does not describe this ink. It reeks. So it's a very chemical smell. It doesn't smell like it's gone bad. It just smells very nasty. Um, Pannonia Velvet Champagne was fun. I had that in one of my Leonardo's for a while. Incabara Coral. Why didn't I? I didn't make an entry when I had this in Leonardo. That's weird. Incabara Coral. Here's, here's what I'm talking about with the difference in color. Why I did this experiment. Two pens came out looking just like the sample. One pen looked darker in a much finer nib. So that was why I was experimenting there. Spring Equinox, didn't use. Potato of Spring, loved. I loved this. I put this in a Pro Gear Slim Mini in the mustard, yellow one, and it was so much fun. Incubara Earth, I'm really enjoying that. I've got this Colorverse ink in a Jinhao 80 with a fine nib and it's a little dry for that pen or the nib is a little dry for this ink maybe to look at it another way. So I think I should put it in a pen that has a wetter ink. And Kabara Brown Gray looks quite different depending on the nib it's in. Um, you can see in this Platinum Meteor it's very pale gray, whereas in the Sailor Pro Gear Slim Mini and Taupe, it went down wetter. It was more of the brown gray of the original ink. Vinta Clouds of Gray is a, a high shimmering ink. I put this in, oh yeah, you can see that. I put this in my Pelican Twist and Taupe. It looked very nice in that one. Vinta Ink Sailfrin. Green, I have not put in a pen yet. I will. I try and have only one shimmering ink inked at a time because I'm not really a fan of shimmering inks. I find them, they require a lot of extra cleanup to clean the pen and I worry about them. I'm not experienced enough with them yet to not worry about them. So the only pen I'm putting them in is a Pelican Twist or this Twisby Diamond Mini. Um, this has Blushing Mushroom in it right now. So that's the sink in that pen I just showed you. Yeah, I try and only have one shimmered ink inked up at a time. I usually have between four and 13 pans inked. Right now I have uh, 11 inked. This ink looked phenomenal in my Leonardo Jade. I want to ink this one. Ooh, I want to ink this one so badly. But I will wait. Yamamoyoi. Seki was absolutely wonderful. Some papers it looked plain gray, other papers it was glaringly pink and green. And Kitsune Biore is my ink of the month in my um, Some Lines a Day journal. And Bayakuya is the last one. That's it. Bayakuya is my 177th bottle of ink. And I love my ink collection. Some people prefer pen collections and just have a few inks. 
I think I would go the other way. If I was forced to choose between my pens and my inks, I would give up pens before I gave up inks. Um, hopefully space will never, or lack of space will never require that I make that decision because it would, it would suck to lose some pens or some inks. It would be sad. But yeah, that's my inks of the year. 34 new inks, 64 unique inks, one, two, three, four, five, six that we used multiple times. And Robert Oster being my most popularly used, commonly used brand of ink. So 70 inks plus the 30 used in um, November at one day each. There's 100 unique inks I used this year. That's a lot of ink. That is... That's a lot of ink. Thank you very much. I hope you have a great holiday. Bye-bye.